This is code.org. Try it out. Now that you've seen some different styles, it's time for you to try it out here. Here's a web page you've seen before, but it needs some style. Give the web page a background color. Make all the images go to the right of the page. Make all the text a different color. Add any other styles. Okay, first background color. Cool. So remember, guys, this is the HTML of the file. So it's what gets the stuff on the page. It's not what decorates it. So if I look at line four of my HTML file, it tells me style.css. That's the file that is actually doing the styles. So let me go over here and click on that. And ooh, they gave us nothing. Our first thing is background color for the entire page. Now, if you forget, you could go back a few and take a look. But since we remember, we need a body rule set. So I'm going to type in the word body, B-O-D, space, and then I need a curly brace. The curly bracket is up near the letter P, except I have to hold shift, because otherwise it's a normal square bracket. If I hold shift and hit the key next to the letter P, there we go. I'm now going to hit enter to separate them out. So it said a background color, so I'll just type on line two the word background, and be lazy. This is how professional web design software works. It will give you options that you can just click. That way we spell it right, it puts the correct uh, hyphen, it gets the correct semicolon. Great. Now, uh, any color you want, uh, I'll do sky blue. Why not? It's the ocean, right? Cool. Is it the ocean? Yeah, it's all seen. Okay. And then we need what? Uh, make all the images go to the right. Oh, okay. And we did this earlier, too, in this lesson. So, first of all, I need an image rule set. So I'll go down to line five. And notice you want these curly brackets up here where they are. That's just the body stuff. But now I'll do an image. So I'm going to do IMG space curly brace. Again, I'm holding shift and clicking the key next to the letter P. Enter. Now on this empty line, I'll do it was float semicolon. And then let's do right set. Cool. And now I need a semicolon, which is shift. And it's the key next to the letter. Oh, not shift. It's just the key next to the letter L. All right. Make all of the text a different color. So if it says all of the text, right, if I just do a paragraph rule set, that would just be the paragraphs. If it says all of the text, I'm going to go up to body. And the reason I'm saying this is because if I look at my HTML, on line six is the beginning or the opening body tag. All the way down on line 36 is the closing body tag. So that means all of this text between line six and 36 will get impacted by styles on body. So let's now make sure we get that on all of our text. Yep, just the color. Okay, so now I'm going to go to line two in my style.css, hit enter. And remember, color, just the word color, changes all of the font's colors. Uh, I might do a little white show up well, and it's in my, yeah, that's hard to read. Orange? I'm out of my mind, that's hard to read. I'm doing white, cool. Uh, Actually, I may change my background to blue. Hey. All right. And make sure you put a semicolon at the end. Now what? Add any other styles. Oh, I'm so adding other styles. Okay. So I want the images to have a border. So on line seven, for me, I'm going to do border uh, uh, width. And we'll do 2px border. What else do we got? Style, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll do dash. Sure. And now I'm going to do border color. And now make sure when you do these that if you're typing them out yourself, you get a colon, right? And the colon is next to the letter L and then a semicolon at the end. I'm definitely going to do orange. So my colon, I want it bigger. Oh, I like that. And I might do padding, which gives, no, I'm not. Okay. And then what can I add? I'm going to make all my paragraphs have a background like we did before. So I'm going to do P and then curly bracket and background color. You could also just do background, but we won't get into that. Um, maybe I'll do light blue for that. Eh, good enough. Cool. I'm digging this. Have fun with this, though. Make sure you uh, will make it your own. Don't do the exact same. Maybe I'll give them a font family. There's so much you can do. I love this. Oh, no, monosphere. All right, onward.